The nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by next generation special forces being led by members of Foxhound. They're demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss, and they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA Chief Donald Anderson and the president of ArmsTech, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike. And stop them if they do. What's the insertion method? We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. And then? We'll launch a one-man SDV. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. High-Tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound. Your former unit, and one that I was a commander of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mattis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, the beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, master of disguise. Vulcan Raven, giant and shaman and Revolver Ocelot, specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound squad leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake? The man with the same code name as you. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment OSP? Yes. This is a top secret black op. Don't expect any official support. are on. Screen is okay. Brightness. Key configuration. This is my era. This is my time. These weapons were implemented for me and me alone. Have we already been to the briefing? Let's make sure our... I'm looking good. Look at those abs. Ripped it's been up. a long time, Snake. Oh, I should have known you were behind this, Colonel. As always. That's no way to greet an old war buddy, Snake. What do you want from me? I just invited you here so we could have a talk. Invited? That's what you call sending armed soldiers after me? Sorry if they were a little rough with you. But we've got a serious situation here. Only you can get us out of it. I'm retired from Foxhound. You're not my commander anymore, and I don't have to take orders from you or anyone else. Look at my mullet. You will take these orders. I know it. I know I'm looking fresh. Excuse me. 
Who's this? Dr. Naomi Hunter. She's chief of Foxhound's medical staff, and an expert in gene therapy. Are you military? No, civilian. I've been sent here from ATGC. Pleasure to meet you, Snake. Don't worry, this injection won't hurt a bit. What's the shot for? What's wrong? You don't like shots? Snake, listen up. That was the end of my it life as I know it. down five hours ago. Heavily armed soldiers occupied Shadow Moses Island, a remote island off the coast of Alaska. What soldiers? Next generation special forces, led by members of Unit Foxhound. They've presented Washington with a single demand, and they say that if it isn't met, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. A nuclear weapon? I'm afraid so. Always gotta ask the same you questions. You see, the island is the site of a secret nuclear weapons disposal facility. Foxhound hijacking a nuclear weapon? Now you understand how serious the situation is. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson. And the Donald president of ArmSec, Kenneth Baker. Kenneth Baker? They're both being held as hostages. Hostages? Those are some heavy-duty hostages. Heavy-duty. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to launch a nuclear strike. And stop them if they do. Any questions, Snake? Questions? I haven't I never even said whether I'd accept, accept this mission. Exactly. Well, you can make That's up exactly your mind what I after just you said. hear more about the situation. I don't appreciate just being put in this situation. Nobody asked me for my input. They just said, do this, do that, do all these different things. But what about what I want? <sighs> I guess I'll listen to the operation outline next. <laughs> Colonel, I don't work for the government anymore. Let me go back to Twin Lakes. Why, Snake? Is your life in Alaska all that great? Twin Cities is where There's I'm from. There's a dog slug race this week. Next That's Saturday, I have to be in Anchorage. Yeah, dinner, Rod? The longest sled race in the world? When did you become a dog musher? Right now, my 50 Huskies are my only family. I've got to take care of them. Don't worry about your dogs. What? What do you mean? I'm sorry, Snake, but this vessel is headed for the Bering Sea. There's no room for debate. I told you, even if I do owe you, I don't owe anything to this army or this country. You will accept this assignment. Why should I be stupid enough to do that? I'm no patriot. Snake! There's enough dirt in your file from your days as an agent to keep you in the stockade until you're a very old man. Blackmail. 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 No, Snake. I prefer to look at it as helping you come to a decision more easily. But anyway, I know you better than that. You take this assignment even without the threat. Why do you say that? You're a natural-born soldier. You're not the grow old gracefully type. Same for all of us who've seen real action. The only place we can feel truly alive is on the battlefield. I'm a soldier too. I know those feelings of powerlessness, frustration that you feel every day. You've tried to play the Boy Scout out there in Alaska, but you can't race dogs in the snow forever. Why don't you come back to us and be a soldier again? A naked soldier? You think my life is some kind of a joke? Snake, I just want to give you back your purpose in life. How about you give me back my pants and my underwear while you're at it? No one told you to strip search me. What kind of crap is this? I didn't come here for this. Now they're taking me back again and again and again. Who's in charge of this crap? It's not me. It must be one of these clowns. Play the dang videotape. Infiltration method. Tell me about the nuclear weapon disposal facility. The disposal facility includes a hardened underground base. Even with our most advanced intelligence Hardly. gathering equipment, we can't tell what's happening inside. 
So someone needs to penetrate, gather penetrate. intelligence, and report back. These Sounds words. like a spy movie. What's They're the insertion method? That average well, an air insertion is impossible. Not with this storm going on. We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. Approach? Yes, within a few miles of it. The facility is equipped with sonar detection capabilities. They'd be able to hear our engine or propeller noise. And then? We'll launch a one-man SDV. Launch? Same as a torpedo, only there's no there? propulsion device of its own. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. You want me to swim in Sub-Zero Alaskan water? Don't worry. That suit represents the latest advances in polythermal technology. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment OSP? Yes. This is a top-secret black op. Don't expect any official support. I didn't expect support to begin with. You guys just put me out here in the middle of nowhere. I was trying to watch out for my dogs. We were gonna be mushing and husking down the freaking snow. But now I gotta do this crap. Cause somebody wants to hold me up from doing what I want to do. This is the kind of nonsense that makes me angry. Urgh, what time limit do we have? What's the time limit? 24 hours. They say they'll launch after 24 hours. Do they say what the target will be? So far, they haven't mentioned the target. When did the countdown start? Five hours ago. Well, that was quick. I guess they want me to get up out of here. Because they clearly don't care about what I want. Oh boy. Who's in charge of this operation? Oh god! They're showing me down low below! Put your arm down, Snake! What was I thinking? Colonel, who are you speaking for? Naturally, I'm representing the US government. So who's in supervisory control of this operation? The President of the United States. Which means that the President must be meeting with his top aides in the map room about now, huh? No, at this point they're still video conferencing with each other. If that's a real nuclear warhead, shouldn't they issue a COG? Oh Not God, yet. I'm doing the, the man's Secretary spirit. of Defense has operational I control forgot all and about is fully aware of the situation. Ugh. After Old you me. infiltrate, if you determine they possess nuclear launch capabilities, a COG will be issued. And well, they gave me a cigarette? They haven't relocated oh. to the nuclear shelter under Mount Washington. I suppose there isn't that much reason to worry yet. Is the National Security Agency in on this? Yes. So is the DIA, the Defense Intelligence Agency. The DIA? I'm starting to get a bad feeling about this. They'll be sending us some support. We don't need desk jockeys. We need a nuclear weapons specialist. Exactly. Of course. A nuclear weapons specialist has already been assigned to us. They got one hanging down below in between me, and then they got one in my mouth. I just don't understand. Why would they do this to me? They can't give me a cigarette and expect me to smoke it completely naked. What if I burn myself? Who's the support crew they're talking about? I want answers. Now. I heard you, Thomas. Shut your mouth. We need backup from a specialist. I'm just an amateur when it comes to nuclear weapons. I know. That's why I've requested the assistance of a military analyst named Nastasha Romanenko. Oh. She'll be providing you backup by codec. She's very attractive. A female analyst? She's built up an impressive record as an advisor for the nuclear emergency search team. I'll say she's built up. Contact her if you have any questions. She's also an expert on high-tech weapons. Where's she working from? At her home in Los Angeles. California. She's from the Ukraine. Seems but like she's a million a... miles away. She's listen, California. Oh. Snake likes. Snake remembers. She's very beautiful. She has passionate, beautiful eyes, and making things even better. She smokes cigarettes like me. Ah! Right. Colonel, you're retired. Why are you involved in this? 
Yeah, tell me the truth. Because there aren't many people who know Foxhound as well as I do. Is that really the only reason, Pop? I've been soldiering for a from long time. Inside. I don't know anything else. I guess even though I'm getting a little old, I still love to be in the field. Colonel, you're, you're a lousy liar. liar. Tell me the real reason. Okay, Snake. Sorry. I'll be frank. And I'll a be person Jim. very dear to me is being held hostage. Who is it? My niece, Meryl. Meryl? Who's this Meryl? I need answers now. And is she hot? What was your niece doing here? Several soldiers were reported missing the day of the revolt. And my niece was one of those called in as an emergency replacement. She looks like you. She's my little brother's girl. He died in the Gulf War. She Since was 18? Since then I've been watching after her. I don't remember Personal that. motive, Colonel. That's not very soldierly. I'm retired. I'm just an old man now. And I'm your friend. Since when are we friends? I've thought of us as friends since the fall of Zanzibar. With my personality, I don't have too many friends. That's, That's what I trust I about trust you. you. But I don't it's trust what makes you, you human. I don't trust anything Please, you say. Please, Snake. Please, nothing. Save my niece, Meryl. I'll save her. All right. For myself. But I have two conditions. Name them. One, no more secrets between us. That's a lie. I want complete disclosure at all times. He'll and lie two, to me. I'll only accept orders directly from you, Colonel. No cutoffs involved, okay? Agreed. No. That's why I was called. I don't believe you. But one thing. What? what? I'm not a colonel anymore. Bullshit. Just a retired old warhorse. I understand, Colonel. You're a liar. You're a liar and a cheat and a thief. Colonel, I never knew you'd be so backslidding with me. Oh boy, now I have to listen to this woman. The one who destroyed the rest of my life with that one stupid shot. Arr! Why don't I just kill her now? Well, it's too late. What's done is done. Let's hear what she has to say. That doctor, is she part of this operation too? She was in charge of Foxhound's gene therapy. She knows more about those men than anyone else. You mean you've seen them naked? Make no mistake, I'm not a nurse. I'm a scientist. By the way, what was that injection for? It's a combination of nanomachines and an anti-freezing peptide so that your blood and other bodily fluids don't freeze, More even lies. at sub-arctic temperatures. More nanomachines. Not just one kind, either. There are different types which will replenish the supply of adrenaline, nutrition, and sugar in your bloodstream. Now I don't have to worry about food. I also put some nootropics in there. Say what? Nootropics. A class of drugs which will help improve your mental functioning. It'll make me smarter, huh? So what you trying to say, I'm stupid? Yes. Benzedrine. It's a type of stimulant. It'll keep you alert and responsive for 12 straight hours. That was quite a cocktail. Anything else in there? Those nanomachines will also keep your codex batteries charged up. Well, I guess I can call you when I'm ready to go on a diet. You're welcome. I'm not welcome. Because you freaking killed me. Oh, if I knew then what I know now. You're lucky I don't snap your neck. Let's hear about the hostages. The chief of DARPA and the president of an arms manufacturing company. What business did they have at a nuclear weapons disposal facility? The truth is that secret exercises were being conducted at the time the terrorist group attacked. Must be extremely important exercises if those two were directly involved. Were they testing some kind of new advanced weapon? I'm not privy to that information. You're Do a liar. Do we know exactly yeah. where they're being held? The DARPA chief has also been injected with the mini transmitter. As you get closer, you should be able to pick up his location on your radar. And why does this camera make me look so demonic? I don't understand. Somebody give me some pupils. Good God. 
Do they really have the ability to launch a nuclear missile? They say they do. They even gave us the serial number of the warhead they plan to use. Was the number confirmed? I'm afraid so. At the very least, they've got their hands on a real nuclear warhead. Isn't there some kind of safety device to prevent this type of terrorism? Yes. Every missile and warhead in our arsenal is equipped with a PAL, which uses a discrete detonation code. PAL? Permissive Action Link. The safety control system built into all nuclear weapons systems. But even so, we can't rest easy. Why not? Because the DARPA chief knows the detonation code. But even if they have a nuclear warhead, it must have been removed from its missile. All the missiles on these disposal sites are supposed to be dismantled. It's not that easy to get your hands on an ICBM. That used to be true. But since the end of the Cold War, you can get anything if you have enough money and the right connections. My god. So the black market is already active for all terrorists. What do you freaking do? How well armed are these terrorists? I know there was an exercise going on at the time they revolted. They're heavily armed, I'm afraid. What about their battle experience? The six members of Foxhound in charge are all hardened veterans. They're tough enough to hard names veterans. and ask for seconds. Whoa. I Calm down, Colonel. Less from Don't Foxhound. need to know about all the that. The others are next generation special forces. They're not your average grunts either. You're telling me about people being battle hardened. That's their own personal business, Colonel. Why are you even involved in that? And now they want demands? Jeez, these are some privileged little uppity class kids. I'm gonna have to take them to school. Old school style. So what exactly are they demanding? A person's remains. Remains? That's right. To be more accurate, cell specimens which contain the individual's genomic information. Cell specimens? Why would they want that? The terrorists need them. You see, these next generation special forces have been strengthened through gene therapy. Strengthened? You've heard of the Human Genome Project. They've been mapping the human genome, and they're nearly finished. Following up on this research, the military has been working towards identifying those genes which are responsible for making effective soldiers. There are genes that do that? Yes. And using gene therapy, they're able to transplant those genes into regular soldiers. Gene therapy? I'll explain this part. With gene therapy, we can remove those genes which we know may lead to sickness or disease, and at the same time, splice in genes with beneficial effects, such as resistance to cancer, for example. Have you guys been words, hanging out with them, We can them, overcome all sorts of genetic diseases, and at the same time, add genetic characteristics as desired. Oh, okay. No. And so if you knew what genes were responsible for making the perfect soldier, you could implant them in the same way, right? Yes, we could. But it all depends on being able to isolate and identify those soldier genes. And in order to do that, it's helpful if you can study the genomic information of one of the greatest soldiers ever. You don't mean... My daddy... My daddy was a good soldier. But you want to turn him into a zombie? I don't think so. One of the greatest soldiers ever? The man they call the greatest warrior of the 20th century. You don't mean Big Boss. That's right. We've Big been balls. working feverishly to identify the genes responsible for his incredible combat skill. So far, we've discovered about 60 of the so-called soldier genes. So his body was recovered after all. Yes, and his cells have remained frozen in a cryo chamber. His genomic information is a priceless treasure to mankind. Priceless to the military, perhaps. His body was burned severely, but it was possible to restore his DNA profile from just a single strand of his hair. You mm. people are amazing. And then you're gonna transplant those genes into soldiers? Yes. We'll use a process that I discovered called gene targeting. The strongest soldiers don't become what they are by acquiring their skills through training or experience. 
We now know that hereditary factors are far more crucial for creating superior soldiers. Snake, we can't give them his body. It's potentially more dangerous than all the nuclear warheads on that island put together. I hear the terrorists are calling themselves the Sons of Big Boss. The Sons, the sons of, of Big, Big Boss. Balls. Speaking of balls, you guys are still letting that cameraman just zoom in on mine. Why don't you make him move his camera in another direction? How about he look at my cool mullet? Let's go back to that. How about that? Oh boy, next generation special force unit. Tell me about these next generation special forces. They started out as an anti-terrorist special ops unit, made up of former members of biochem units, technical escort units, and a nuclear emergency surge team. Their purpose was to respond to threats involving next generation weapons of mass destruction, including NBC weapons. NBC? Until they were added, that the is. The news channel? Good Who's God. They? These guys didn't start out as regular army. Looks like a pretty international group. Mercenaries? Yeah, and it gets worse. Most of them were from a Merc agency that I think you're familiar with. They were part of Big Boss's private guard. And after Big Boss went down, the military just bought out all their contracts. I don't want to look like Outer heaven. After that, they were merged with our own VR unit, Force 21, and retrained. If you ask me, these so-called next generation special forces should be called simulated soldiers. They have no real battle experience. Exactly. Video game players, huh? Hey. Don't forget they've all been strengthened with gene therapy. They carry genes which make them excellent soldiers. Don't get careless just because they don't have much experience. I thought using genetically modified soldiers was prohibited by international law. Yes, but those are just declarations, not actual treaties. The interesting thing is that nearly every member of the unit conspired in this attack. He's just mad he couldn't pull off the short hair like I did. They want Big Boss. They want Big Balls. They want liquid. They want solid. They want everything. But they can't have it all. They can only have a few things. Unanimous approval. What is the reason for this? How could an entire unit be subverted to rebellion? They're calling it a revolution. Since they all went through the same gene therapy, they probably felt closer than brothers. They see the unit as their only family. The sons of Big Boss. Oh god. But the if sons they were of regular boss. armies, they must have been interviewed periodically by army counselors. According to their files, they all got straight A's on their psychological tests. They all seemed like fine, upstanding, patriotic soldiers. But they all took part in the uprising? No. Several people didn't show up on the day of the exercise. That's why there was a resupply of troops. Was there any it. sign recently that something might be wrong? There was a report a month ago that they were acting strangely. Apparently they consulted classified information about the soldier genes and performed their own gene therapy experiments. They can do that even without you? Well, our gene therapy process is almost completely automated. And besides that, they're all geniuses with IQs over 180. 180? Even the existence of this genome army is a national secret of the highest order. Ha! Take that! We've been hoping to investigate this thing quietly and deal with it behind closed doors. Deal behind closed doors? What do you are, Kelly? Oh. Well. Let's find out who all the Foxhound members are. Give it to me straight. Tell it like it is. High Tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound. Your former unit, and one that I was a commander of. An elite group combining firepower and expertise. They're every bit as good as when I was commanding them. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Look at those trench coats. Psycho Mattis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, the beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, master of disguise. Vulcan Raven, giant and shaman. 
and Revolver Ocelot. Gotta learn your words, Specialist in interrogation Colonel. and a formidable gunfighter. Looks like a lovely bunch of folks. Too bad we'll be meeting under these circumstances. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound Squad Leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid, Liquid snake. snake? Yes. What kind of snake is that? You're the only person who can stand against him. Why? Because he's my twin? But you didn't even bother to tell me until later? You could have told me that from the beginning. Oh boy, now they're gonna show me a picture of him, and I'm gonna be like, Oh God, I don't wanna look like him, cause he looks like me. Wait a minute, I don't know who's older, or who's younger. It doesn't matter. I don't wanna look like him. I want my face and my hair to be fixed. The mullet is gone. It's going away. Let's got the snake. runs. Liquid Runny snake. snake. The man with the same code name as you. Tell me what you know. He fought in the Gulf War as a teenager, the youngest person in the SAS. His job was to track down and destroy mobile Scud missile launching platforms. You were there too, I believe. Didn't you infiltrate Western Iraq with a platoon of Green Berets? I was just a kid myself back then. Uh, the details are classified, but it seems that originally he penetrated the Middle East as a sleeper for the SIS. He was a spy for the British Secret Intelligence Service? But he never once showed his face in Century House. He was taken prisoner in Iraq, and after that there was no trace of him for several years. After you retired, he was rescued and became a member of Foxhound. I thought that by the time I left, they were no longer using code names. I don't know his real name. That information is so highly classified that even I can't look at it. Here's a photo of him. <gasps> Look at my Pretty eyes. Shocking, huh? I'm scared. His skin tone is different, but otherwise you two are exact duplicates. I have a twin? I don't know the details, but it seems so. That's why we really need you for this mission. You're the only one who can beat him. You now shut up. I've met you, I know. You're a liar. You've got something that he doesn't. Yeah. I can the see it in your death eyes. you just put in my body. Why don't I find that thought more comforting? Because she tried to kill me. Oh wait, she did kill me. I don't like Naomi. I just don't. Well, we got all our information we need. Now it's time to get to work. I need to borrow your scissors. What are you going to do? Don't worry, just gonna clean myself up a little. Huh? I don't want to be mistaken for the leader of the terrorists. Yeah. Now I'm looking real smooth. Check me out, guys. Well, we've done the briefing. We're not doing VR training. We've already been down that road before. Let's get into it. Normal. Sure, why not? Radar off? Don't think so. Easy. I'm not that kind of guy. Extreme. Can't do it yet. Normal it is. and this stage. It's all coming back. Normal. There was nothing normal about this mission, though. I was doomed from the beginning, even before I even got started. Stay alert. If you be through here, I know it. I'm going to swat down a couple of bothersome flies. My brother still has that mullet. He's gonna rock it all the way to the end. I hope you're real calm and warm in that trench coat. But guess what? This snake, Colonel, do you read me? 
Oh yeah, let's do it. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got, Got it. it. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm ready, ready to go. go. And now, my mission begins. But I can't do anything without food. Mm, yum, yum. It's just like a movie. for you, floating box. Back in the water we go. If only man could really run that fast in the water. Let's see. Hey, it's the G.I. Joe. We got rations, a scope, my good old cigarettes, and no items yet. Dive! Ah! I heard you didn't hear nothing. Where'd he go? Shut your mouth. Already off to a bad start. Easy for you to say you didn't get shot. It hurts so bad too. I don't want to use my rations yet. I just want to get out of here. Why do they want me dead? I'm just doing my job. Huh? Yeah, what was that noise? He heard it. Go 
go away. Let's do this the old school way. that illegal chokehold. I did want to have to do it, but I don't have no choice now. They say three times a charm. No problem. Shut them down. You're going down, pal. <laughs> have a nice nap. You're dumb. Mm. Meal time. Careful, Will. No one can see me move. Now time to show you guys my beautiful face. Get rid of all this scuba gear. <clears throat> Don't need any more. Take this little mask off. Ah. I'm a pixel. I'm a beautiful pixel. Check out that line structure. Uh, Q roll cards. That's right. Look up at the Metal Gear. My destiny awaits above. Mad Dash. Let's slither. Go! Good job. Colonel, my 
my neck hurts. It's cold outside. It's Snake. I'm in front of the disposal facility. That took a long time. I guess you're feeling a little rusty. Don't worry. It's been a while, but it's all coming back to me. Jeez. How's that sneaking suit working out? Just throw I'm it in nice my face dry, while but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I yeah, see. but the ones you gave them, to hear they're that. not done, Already Trump. tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Behind, Behind B. B. Colonel. Colonel. What's a hot dog going to do in here? here? I have no idea. But it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. Oh, I'm a slip in, Colonel. Don't you worry about that. I slip all the way. I'm gonna get a Heineken and a tequila, and I'm gonna get wasted. hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, you must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data Sounds processing like specialist. Night. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. Waifu. Yeah. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. That's because you're but, my future uh, I'm waifu. surprised. You're very frank for a train killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. Oh, teach me. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be oh, able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. Got it. I'll call, I'll call you if I need some toilet paper. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Don't Remember, I except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip-searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip-search on me. Not interested. I'll hold you to that, Doctor. No, I don't By the don't way, want sorry it. to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never you know. You never know. I come from an age of Nintendo. Anything helps. Long before the Smash Brother days. 
If you want to get in, there's the front door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. Uh, there's one sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers and pineapples. pineapples. What, what about the air here. duct near the door? There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. Count no more. We're back in action. So, first things first. We need a weapon. Before we do that, let's go get these chafe missiles. Excuse me. The chafe grenades. I need them. So that way I don't chafe while I'm out here fighting. Okay. The time must be precise. Got him. Nobody told me there'd be surveillance cameras. A surveillance camera? Oh, God. Don't let him see me. Uh oh. He's frosty. Got him. You're just jealous because you can't see me. You can call me John Snaker. My butt cheeks aren't even that big. What's wrong with you guys? fell asleep on the job. Oh, looks like he woke up a little bit. Oh, sees again. Time to get that SOCOM. Classic. Legendary. Check out my pose. Yeah, I'm looking good. Oh yeah. Oh, time to move on. Mission complete. I hope somebody heard it. I hope they heard it. How do I reload? Maybe it reloads automatically. Oh, that's right. When you do that, you reload. Let's see. Gotta find out where the enemy is. There's the camera. I see him. We're gonna take our time. Hit these corners. Everything should be just fine. Uh oh. Abort. If ever there was a time, now's the time. Must be precise. Radio. I don't want to talk to. Why do you want me to talk to him? I don't want to talk to him. McDonald Miller. I don't like him. Hide around the corner. He never comes all the way. He only comes one spot, and that's right here. Go on. 
get out of here. Go on. Turn and walk away. Bless you. Oh, I mean, shh. Go on. Get out of here. I won't say it again. Here he comes. That base must have some kind of ventilation system to recirculate the air. There should be air ducts around there somewhere. They must need a lot of power to run the base. There's probably a diesel generator somewhere. And since generating electricity requires oxygen, there must be exhaust openings for that too. You're not gonna believe this, but they shot down the F-16s we were using as a diversion with a Hein D. Then we got a message from Liquid. He said if we try something like that again, he'll launch the nuke. Snake, hurry up and get in there. That hind will be coming back soon. Okay, okay. Going. What about the gun? Tell me about the gun, Colonel. That base must have some kind of ventilation system to recirculate the air. There should be air ducts around there somewhere. Well, he's not gonna talk to me about the gun now. It's okay. I'm still cool, and I'm ready to roll. Talk about claustrophobicness. Good thing I didn't need it in Zanzibar. It's so dark. That's the way out. It's too late. I'm already in here now. It's McDonald Miller. Snake, this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? I quit being a drill instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Bet Alaska longer than you, so call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. You're a liar. Why don't you just say you're freaking liquid now and be done with it? I'm gonna call Natasha. See if I still remember what it is. 141.52 I think Oh, wrong button This uh, is Mustasha Romanenko A pleasure to work with you, Solid Snake Oh yeah You're the nuclear specialist that the colonel mentioned That's me You can ask me anything about nukes that you want Can I ask you I am also else? a military analyst So I have an extensive knowledge of weapon systems as well Oh, you extend They asked me to participate in this operation as a supervisor From the nuclear emergency search team I was happy to accept. Oh. We must not allow terrorists to get their hands on nuclear weapons of any kind. I agree. I hope I can help you to stop them. Let's start You're a tough together. Lady. You Those are tough terrorists lady. are serious about launching a nuclear weapon? The world cannot stand by idly and allow that to happen, and neither can I. Unfortunately, all I can do from here is provide you with information. Hopefully that'll be enough. Another soldier here wouldn't make a difference anyway. It's good to work with you, Nastasha. Same here, Snake. I like the way you talk to me at the end, Tasha. It makes me... special. I'm already in a tight hole, so I get warm feelings as it is. This is where we're headed. I can barely see it. Different soldiers down there. No worries, we'll figure it out when we get there. Dum dum dum. Ah, cutscene. I moved the dark machine to the cell in the first floor basement. What about the vent shaft cleaning? They just opened the vent covers. 
I'm about to start spraying for rats. First floor basement ventilation shaft. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? Woman in the cell? Come Did on. something happen? There's an intruder. Really? He's already done three people. I he's did? killed three people? Oh, right. Yeah. I killed... Wait he's a minute. using stealth. Too. No, I didn't. Stealth. I didn't kill anybody. There's an intruder besides me? Yeah. Anyway, I want you to increase the security detail on the chief. I knew they weren't talking about me. I didn't kill anybody. Only thing I've done is trip someone. And they shot at me, so I know that's a lie. The only thing I've done is shot one bullet. Sure do like these tight spaces. Another camera. What else is in here? There better be something good on the other side. Let's keep moving. I believe there's a ration somewhere here inside this, uh, these air ducts. We're gonna find it. Oh, speaking of rations, there's one in there. Yum yum. dead end. Except for this way. Hey! There's a meal. They're not gonna let me get it. I'm on the wrong side. Oh wait. Fine! Now listen. What do you want me to hear? Oh, it's too late. I ruined the conversation. Press the action button to drop down. R really Colonel? You you called me to tell me that. Press the action button to drop down. C Colonel, don't don't call me anymore. Don't don't just I'll call you. I can't pick it up. I want my ration! I want it! Oh, it's not fair. Okay. I guess I'll go down. Oh yeah. What do you want, Colonel? Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. Okay, boss. Chav grenades. I want more. Uh oh! Bad move. That was a rookie move. I know better than that. I'm knocking at your door. Give me some items. I want all the things you can give me. Give them all. Perhaps I could use a chaff grenade. That would shut him up. go downstairs. Oh, he's deaf. He can't hear me. It's no guard.
ever there was a time to use one, this would be it. something underneath the tank, if I remember correctly. Not under this tank. Perhaps the other tank. destroyed on sight. See you later, suckers. Perhaps it was inspired. Dapa Chief, he's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. Okay. I got it. Relax. Mm. DARPA. That room will be a very painful experience. Not not one I want to remember. But it will be. Yes, Colonel. Snake, if you want to go up or down a ladder, just press the action button by the ladder. Colonel, you're making me seem like I'm retarded now. I know how to do some things. Jeez. I've got 23 bullets. I'm good to go. Show me a cheat on how to climb and move and run and crawl faster. You show me that and then we'll be in business. Is that a woman? Is that a woman? Not you. Because I completely forgot all about Meryl. Screw her. Snake, the DARPA chief signal is coming from somewhere in that area. Isn't there some place to drop down? Take a look around in first-person view mode. I will if you just let me do my job, Colonel. Jeez. For the sake of those who don't know, I believe... Actually, no, I guess it's not here. There's supposed to be a corner you can turn down, and it'll take you to another... ration. Oh, well. Let's just go talk to the DARPA chief. He's a cool guy. We go. We can talk to somebody else for a change instead of Colonel. Who, who, who's that? The boogeyman. And I'm coming to get you. I'm here to save you. Catch You're the wait. DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? You here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? 
I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Yes. Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. Why do I have they my hand on my hip like their that? Demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Stand like Say a man. Jesus. What's Is wrong with you, Snake? Stop it's doing possible. that. Stop it. They could launch a nuke. Uh, what? How did they plan to launch? I thought Mind your business, Meryl. Dismantle warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay. We were conducting exercises with a new <laughs> type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear equipped walking battle tank. I'm an equipped walking woman tank. Called... Metal Gear. Metal Gear. It can't be. You knew? Metal I ain't Gear knew. Is one of the most I've been around projects. longer than you. What you talking about? How did you know that? We've had a had couple, couple of run-ins in the past. past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary, it's grown into a huge joint project between Arms Tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. Mass Poppins. Mary Poppins, what do you mean? If it hadn't been for the revolution. Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex? Rex. Metal Gear Rex. Ray. The code name for the Rob. new Metal Gear prototype. Ron. These are all the Metal Gears. Army, the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? You shut up, Johnny. Nobody likes you. Get your ugly face out of here. But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. And we just go Some right back to the detonation code that you have voice. to input. Same tone, oh, same you loudness. You mean PAL? Yes, of course. There is a PAL. It's set up Am so I that your you pal? need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. Are there you are my two pal? passwords? Yes. Who's the PAL? Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of Arms Tech. That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. That's a lie. But they found out my password. You're lying, Todd. Psychomantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psychomantis. One of the members of Foxhound. God, why are you yes, acting like this? It. Me? You heard this, this bad. in the briefing, the mission briefing. You forgot about these people. Come on, man. If they find out Baker's password... Yes, they'll be able to launch a nuke any time. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed card by keys. Arms Tech, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the password, you can just insert the, the card keys and engage the safety lock. Safety lock? And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. Stop the launch? Why would I do that? I still want breakfast. So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen, you need three card keys. You already there told me There are three different that. slots to put them in. Do you something different. You need to different. insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Yes, one, you know where they might two, be keeping Baker. three. Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement. Second floor I heard basement. The guards My say God. They into an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. 
They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Different color? We're all the same color on the inside. We Here, bleed red. take this. It's my ID card. ID It'll open card. any level one security door. Level one door. It's called a pan card. Hey, I passed it those earlier. It works together body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. Got it. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. All right, let me get you out of here. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So Don't give him my house, you snake. To the terrorist he asked you That's questions, their problem. you sit up there and say it the has same nothing thing to do with my orders. Over over. Don't but do that. What about the Pentagon? Uh-oh. Pentagon? What is it? Constipation! Why? Oh! What's that? Uh-oh. Hey, what happened? I don't have Pepto-Bismo! I can't help you! I'm sorry! Oh. He needs an enema! Oh no. Dang it. Oh. <sighs> Bacon. <laughs> Colonel! He had to use the bathroom! Naomi, the chief. What happened? I... I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but... A heart attack? <sighs> no. Colonel, are, are you, you hiding, hiding boots from me? from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. What? You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? Now the lies I told start. You, Again. The Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. I don't trust Snake, you. We don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. This man just died, right in front of me. He just constipated himself. And you want me to go find another man? Another old guy? Let's see if we can see the fight. Nope. They're not gonna let us see it. However... Meryl just beat the crap out of Johnny. Her future husband. It should have been me. There she is with that walk. I didn't tell you to open my door. You think I can't see you? I see you right there. I don't want to go outside. I see you. Peekaboo. Now you see me. Now you don't. Now you see me. Now you don't. I'm gonna shoot you, Meryl. It's gonna hurt. Look at that leg. That leg's working overtime. He died for no reason. You know why he died? Look at all these maggots on the ground. Look at that toilet seat. He probably died from that sickness alone. Jesus, help him. And he only had one roll of toilet paper? Good God! Well, maybe he had two. The toilet paper is the cleanest thing. That sink ain't no joke either. That's what killed him. That old nasty ration. I'm not eating that. I already told you. I can see you right here. Do something. Rookie. Fine. Let's get this party started. Bottle! No! Oh! So you killed the chief, you bastard! If he saw that naked man, he would have died right on impact! Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move! Oh, why are you shaking? 
Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? It's the first time your hands twerking. are shaking. <laughs> Can you shoot for me, me, rookie? Careful, I'm no rookie. Liar. Oh, so you've twerked that before. nervous glance, that scared look in your eyes. They're rookies' eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie. You are. You're not one of them, are you? Open that door. You've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here. Looks like we'll be a little delayed. Oh yeah. What, what are you doing? doing? Don't, don't think. think. Twerk. What are you waiting for? Shoot! Don't talk to me like a rookie. I'm telling you, shoot! Good God. Johnny's butthole. We'll get through this. Let's do it. Yeah. Cough up those bullets, baby. Shoot him. Uh oh. Nope. Not me. Maybe you. Ah! You don't shoot me. Got it. Thanks for the help. Here it comes. Wait. Whoa! Good God! Yeah! Oh yeah, she's hot. You I'll take her now. You've killed him. I'm sorry, sir. His mental shielding was very strong. I could not dive into his mind. Now we'll never get that detonation code, boss. I have a good idea. Give me some money. I want to give you some money. Wait, oh. Good God! I just want to get you some money. It was a good show. Stop shooting! Damn! What ass? Who are you, the bodyguard? Good girl, just like that. Hey, wait a minute! I saw her first. He must have been the bouncer. What the hell? Am I on LSD again? Colonel! Naomi, I just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nanomachines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis. So that was Cleo. Tell her to call me now. Hey Johnny, wake up. Oh Johnny, Johnny! Jesus Christ almighty. Johnny, do something with yourself, please! Lord have mercy. Well... We'll move on to the next location. Ah, so complex. Never leave home without them. Got it. This future age technological Terminator music. Let's get moving. No, we're not. There it is. This is the path I was talking about, right here. But we're full, so we don't need it. Let's move on. Ah! I pressed the wrong button. That's the punch. That's the kick. Yeah. Let's go. 
go to basement number two. Tells me I should save. What can I do for you, Snake? Save, baby. Let me get some of that. Save. What do you mean? No empty block. What does that mean? Need one block. So why is my memory card number two half room? But memory card Snake, one doesn't. Remember what the girl said. The graveyards are full of indispensable men. Snake, you're all alone and surrounded by bad guys. Try to be careful and avoid getting into a I'm fight saving. whenever you can. You're right. Wow, you know all sorts of great quotes, don't you? <laughs> well, both my parents are from Gongdong, China. But Gong -Gong. I was born and raised in America. I've always liked reading literature from both sides. Kinda keeps me in touch. I'll share some more quotes with you if you like. Not right now. I'm looking forward to I'm it. I'm busy. But to tell you the truth, I'd like to learn more about you. Exactly. Well, I'll think about it. No, don't think about it. Just do it. College boy. The original trap house. Right there. Check out the thermals. No traps. Good. It's all clear. I like C4. Trap house. Look at that. Trap house. One wrong move, and it's all over. Last thing you'll hear is me go. And we don't want that. Not at all. Number two. Behold. Wrong one. There we go. All clear. It never hurts to check, because you never know. Anything could come and get you at one moment, and next thing you know, boom, you're done. Grenades. These are going to come in handy when I fight Ocelot. Hmm. All clear. Here's the wall. Do it. I want to see the explosion, but I want to see it in a cool way. Oh, fine, I'll do this wall. Ow! What happened? Why didn't it explode? I said explode! Do it! Now! Yeah. That one's a lie. Or maybe I'll have to do it later. Oh, I'm out of C4. I want more C4! Please. Hm. Fine. I'll just go on about my business then. That's not nice. Don't say that. She doesn't have the virus. 
Great. Now I really need more C4. This is what happens when you act like a fool. Let's try and get it again. Got him. And I'll take some more grenades. Oh. Where were we? Ah, yes. The wall. Don't try to blow me up. I can see him. He's in there. Oh, wait. Not here. Next room. Come on, Flint. I see far on. Put it on! There we go. Got it. Harper Chief. No, it's the president of Arms Tech. Wait, I hear a camera in here. Who's checking me out? It doesn't matter. Something seems wrong. Am I too late? Something seems off. Oh! That breath! He's alive. You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Oh, what are you doing? Don't worry. I'm here to save you. Stop it! No, no, don't touch it! Oh, trust me, I don't want to. Please stop C4. doing that. Good God! That's what you were trying to do, explode on me. Good God, get away! Huh. Right. Touch that wire, and the C4 will blow up along with the old man. Oh, yeah? So you're the one that the boss keeps talking about. And you? Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver Ocelot. You're cool. I like you already. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Have you now? Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt Single Action Army. Oh yeah? How many bullets? Six bullets. More than enough to kill anything that moves. Is that right? Now I'll show you why they call me... Revolver. Oh yeah? Let's dance, old man. You ain't got what it takes. Draw! Ah, my favorite music. Wrong! Hiding won't help you. I understand the bullets you see. I make them go where I want. Oh, yeah? Hiding won't help you. I love to reload during a battle. There's nothing like the feeling of slamming a long silver bullet in a well. Oh, yeah. We're gonna dance oh. now. Are you now? Stop shooting me! You better hurry up. The old man's not gonna last too long. Stand still so I can shoot you! Where you going? Where you going? Don't play peekaboo with me. Come here. Oh, you're out of bullets. I love the smell of corda. You know, that sulfur smell. But to you, it'll be the smell of your own. Shut up! Shut up! You're going down! Help! What are 
do you mean, wait a minute? Stop cheating! Baker, be quiet! Fight! You're messing up my fight! Fight! Wait a minute! No, I'm not gonna wait! You're kidding me! Nope! Oh! Come here! Brr! Stand still! If only I had my pistol in Smash Bros! I would have been got you. Nice shot. No, don't think so. No. You don't like bullets? You're the one shooting me. Come here. You're almost out of ammo. Come here, Ocelot. That boy got mass speed for an old man. Oh. Let's try this way. Come on, old man. Hey! Come here! Four bullets. Not the same amount as you. Come here! Ugh. Baker, be quiet! You're making me uneasy. Wait a minute. I'll do no such thing. I'll do no such thing! Where you going? I thought you liked this kind of battle. Ocelot! Stand still! Take your butt with him like a man! Round and round we go. Come on! Wait a minute. No! Nope! Take that. You're pretty good. Just what I'd expect from the man with the same code as the boss. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight, but I'm just... Oh my god, why are you still shaking? What? My hand! Ocelot is no more after this day. Stealth camouflage. Can't you even die right? You were lucky. We'll meet again! Who are you?
like an alien. Get off the ground! Oh god, he's having seizures again. Who the hell? He's over here having seizures. Can you talk? Who are you? I'm not one of them. The DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, I get it. Jim sent you. You're, you're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. Yeah, answer what about my question. Code? There's no time. I... talked. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. Dumb dumb. It's not like I didn't fight. Sure you I, did. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical, Surgical implants. implants. Kind of like a psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah, it's not him. I'm sure. In that case, how did they get your code? I never had any training on how to resist torture. <laughs> Yeah. It looks like he had some fun with you, all right. Keep your germs oh, to yourself, not buddy. Human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Ha! Huh. You're a funny man. Wasn't trying to be. So the DARPA chief, is he okay? Dead. What? I can't be. You know, that's not what you promised, Jim. Now you want to shut me up? Oh. Calm down. What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. And if you don't stop hitting me with that I stick, didn't I'm gonna shove it up chief. your butt. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree, but what do they really want? Oh, who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry, always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. Do you still straight. have the card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code. I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists? No, that woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. A female soldier, it must be. She said she had just joined up as a new recruit. They threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the Colonel's niece? I yeah. get her key. Twerk Looks girl. Like she managed to break out of here, though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact she with her by Kodak. Power. Until I she was tied go. up here, that is. Kodak? Yes. She stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, it's... Oh. oh. Sorry. I forgot. Damn! God dang it, boy! What's wrong with you? Oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. What if I'll I don't have the right CD away. case? But you don't me, think about if that. This, doesn't this work, game is there's old some as other heck. Way to prevent How in the world launch? can I have a CD case at this stage of my life? Thankfully for you, you I need to know find the code. Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? The team leader of the metal. Just told you, one of his employees. What's wrong a with you? Genius in engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? You'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the Nuclear Warhead Storage Building. It's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The threat of nuclear war isn't gone. In fact, it's greater than it's ever been. The amount of spent nuclear fuel and plutonium is increasing even today. History lesson Listen, 101. Have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. 
Drums and drums of nuclear waste stacked this high, as far as you can see. Because there's still no real way to dispose of the stuff. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that, but several Absolutely pounds of ridiculous. muff are reported every year. Muff? It stands for material unaccounted muff. for. It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with no way to turn. In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age when any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? Uh, Russia and China still maintain a significant nuclear presence. Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. You mean Metal Gear. Yes. You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due you to the so-called peace. Alchemist. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes, and after my company lost their bid to produce the Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even those bleeding heart liberals on the military oversight committee. They like bribes. That's what that is. Bribes. See? I prefer to think of it as good business. Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you and your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. Here, shut your this old is what up. you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? Give me all the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. Which they don't know this disc exists. Never Make mind. Make sure you report know. this to Jim. To your boss. I'll give you my card, too. It'll open up all security level two doors. Can you walk? No. No, you go on without me. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. You're okay with Who dying or down what here? was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. That ninja? That was Foxhound's Dark Little Secret. Dark, dark Little Secret? secret. An oh, experimental God. genome soldier. <coughs> Ew. Uh, Good God. You know him? Plague coming out of your mouth you first hand. ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi. How do you know You've Naomi? You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my company and I are finished. I told you I don't care about your company. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Oh, no. Metal Gear itself. The diary is building up again. Oh! What? What did you do to me? I didn't do nothing! Oh, no. Oh, oh no, it can't be. Jeez. Those Pentagon bastards. So. You went from dry humping to constipation? Did it. What are you talking about? Oh! They, they, they are just using you for. That's right, let it out. Let there you go. Oh yeah, I know. It feels so much better. Now you don't have to worry about it. It's all over. What the hell? Too many turds being dropped here today. Left and right. Colonel! Colonel! Another listen, person is dark from dead too. constipation! I have no idea. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. Did you take the toilet paper? Some kind of poison? Well, Where's the Pepto Bismol? Cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or dioxides. But we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn. Sir. I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her more than you can trust me? So that basically means get no. in contact with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. 
It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes, we have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. Naomi is a liar. Colonel's a liar. The only person that's not a liar is Meiling. And Natasha. Oh, Natasha. Natasha's always been good to me. I don't care about your stupid cameras. Hey, fat man! He's done. Go back home to your mama! Great. Now I gotta call this girl. Hopefully she doesn't try to run away from me again. Shaking her butt all over the place. Oh god. We have visitors now. Something doesn't seem right here. I want my Famas. No smoking. Tell that to the SOCOM bluffer. Hey! Uh-oh! Here it is. Mm. Oh! Almost ended my life there just now. Footprints are these. Hmm. Nope. Not today, pal. This way. What was that noise? He's got speed. Hmm. I like this guy. I'll tell you what that noise was. Me banging on the door. Challenge accepted. Let's get out of here. Basement number one. Is Johnny still on the floor or did he finally get up off his butt? Good job, Johnny. I'm proud of you. Nobody likes a constipated person. Ration is still there. Maybe it's still here. Yeah. 
I just hope it doesn't make me sick like it made the Darpa Chief sick. I don't want to die. Not off no rations. Gimme. Yeah. For my eyes. It's a good gun. Yeah. Look at that. Somebody tell me about the gun. The DARPA chief and President Baker. So now the terrorists know both detonation codes. Yeah, and on top of that, they both died right in front of my eyes. Snake, now that the terrorists have both detonation codes, the only way to stop a nuclear launch is to either use the detonation code release keys that Merrill's holding, or... Or find the Metal Gear chief engineer that President Baker mentioned. Hal Emmerich. In any case, you should contact Meryl by codec. Wasn't her frequency written on the back of the CD case? You guys keep talking about the CD case. I already told you, there is no CD case. Let me just call this broad. Big Booty Judy. Who are you? I was really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. The one from the prison? You're the Colonel's niece. Meryl, right? No, it's not him. It's if just I just exactly told you about you? your uncle, I'm the fool that you're you should already know who I am. In the middle of this whole mess. You came by yourself? You think you're some kind of one-man army? I don't need lectures. I don't. You're just like your uncle, you know. How do you know my uncle? We go, we go way, way back. back. What's your name? My name's not important. Aha! Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are no. you Solid Snake? That's, That's what, what some, some people, people call, call me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? Sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. How? It's your eyes. Time My to hit on eyes? It. They're not soldiers' eyes. And they're rookies' eyes, right? Nope. No. They're beautiful, compassionate eyes. How oh, just what I'd expect from the legendary Solid Snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? I'm gonna Don't worry, you feet, he'll land back on you once you meet me. And let the reality you know, is no three, match two, for the legend, I'm afraid. Ah! Oh, I don't believe that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? Yeah, you know him? You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. I so have what's no the deal mommy. then? Who knows? Why don't you ask him? I was sad though. But first I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I'm sorry. I was captured along with President Baker right after the terrorist attack. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapons disposal facility. Is this a David boy, Busters? Oh boy, it's just like them. Nobody told you anything, did they? Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This you mean this is a crash news? dummy set? Right, for the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Colonel. Boxhound and the Next Generation he Special Forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush hush. Like but we hush must puppies. have fired nuclear warheads before. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. Well, that's what I heard, anyway. Uh, sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think the terrorists want? I hope you don't mm, smell like fish. Sorry, I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh yeah, that's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing you were able to keep him hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. Anyway, you met Baker, huh? How's he holding up? That old He's boy dead. dead. What? Heart attack. Same as the DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No, not that I heard of. Ate well, I don't believe rashes. in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Hmm, sounds like it, but I have no idea what. Me neither, yet. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? Yes. Is he still alive? Probably. 
He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. That's second floor future basement. Buddy right yeah, there. that's where his lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we better do something before he finishes. You're right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It won't be the first time. Ah. Oh. What's the best way to get to the building where the doctor is being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's okay. I've got a level five card. Well, I've got to go save the doctor. You should go. I'm going with you. No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green. Oh, yes, you are. You froze. You paused and we almost one died second because in front of your stupidness. enemy, and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. See, look, even the music I don't know what happened. Me. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. I never had any problems in training. But when I thought about my bullets tearing through those soldiers' bodies, I, I hesitated. Shooting at targets and shooting at living, breathing people are different. Ever since I was a little girl, I always dreamed about being a soldier. Every day of my life, I've trained my mind and body for the one day when I could finally see some real action. And now... So what now? I don't want to hear quit? a sad story. I can't Shut up. Quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, Meryl. Everybody feels sick the first time they kill someone. I didn't. Unfortunately, killing is one of those things that gets easier the more you do it. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits come out. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. But this You're talking isn't about a war. killing. It's I a killed a centipede action. earlier and didn't even You're bat just an a little eye. jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. The but I learned all about combat high in the academy. The to destroy we'll talk all. about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Look, okay. You're not understanding. Let me try what I'm to saying. say this another way. Stay you're the hell out of retard, my way. And I don't <laughs> want to talk to you anymore. You're a real bastard. Just like my uncle said. Huh. I told you. The real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> it looks like you were right. <laughs> <laughs> now shut up. Okay, and Snake. I'll be a good girl. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Then we'll take care of the detonation code override. Gotcha. But listen, I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. Yeah, go do some work. Took you long enough. Let's go back upstairs. Jeez, can't even press the button correctly. Oh. Snake, I unlocked the cargo door for you. Thanks. Where are you? Where I can see ya. Don't move around too much. Don't worry, I'm disguised in this enemy uniform. You won't be for long with the way you walk. Exactly. What does that mean? Uh, nothing. Listen, Snake, the cargo door is like an airlock. It's equipped with infrared sensors. Be careful. If an intruder is sensed, gas is released. Gas? Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage building. Wait, you said you'd stay put and be a good girl. I changed my mind. Don't get careless. That's when things always turn sour. Sorry, but this is the only way I can figure out whether or not I'm cut out to be a soldier. I gotta get my hands dirty. These guys are professionals. You're gonna get yourself killed. See you there. Did you not hear what I just said, bro? You're gonna get yourself killed. Then who am I gonna watch twerk? You're gonna ruin everything for me. Arr! Women. I'm only kidding. Relax. Take me 
to the Underground Railroad, where I can learn how to move at my own pace. Nobody told me there was going to be water down here. Gurgle, gurgle, gurgle. There's the other ration I was talking about earlier. You come all the way over here just to get it. It can't even be used. And now we got to go all the way back. I just wanted to show you guys. Well, let's move on. There's no need to stay in here any further. However, since we're here, we might as well go get the other items. Back down into the DC diving. That's where we're headed. Here we go. Hold your breath. Here we go. <gasps> now I know how Sonic feels. Good God. <sighs> Just dry off when we get outside, and we'll keep moving. I'm tired of these tight holes. <laughs> All right. It's safe to go outside? I don't know. I can't see. Above me. It's got to be above. My main man is asleep. That's right, just go back to sleep. my suppressor. Oh, there it is. You want to take a permanent sleep? Let's 
go get some more toys. Can't see me through these vents. Can't be that blind, my dude. Take it all! Go! Cardboard. They're just a box. That's what they'll say. They'll see my cardboard box and they'll know it's just a box. I said, don't come over here. Turn the other way. You jackhole. You want me to shoot you? I'm just a box. Haven't you figured that out yet? ever have. Cause I'm a box. I believe we're clear. Let's just make sure. Double check. Better to be safe than sorry. The mind detector. I just a box. I was just a box, you idiot. Somebody lied. Somebody lied and told him I was something else. You can't trust anybody out here. Let's get moving. We spent enough time here already. Precise turns. We don't want to die.
Be careful, Snake. That airlock is set with infrared sensors. You probably can't see them with your naked eyes, but there are infrared beams coming out of that wall. Touch any one of them and the doors will seal off and the place will be flooded with poison gas. Somehow you've got to get through without setting off those sensors. I got something for it, so chill. Get me just then. Mailing, help me. I need your assistance. What is it, Snake? Save for me, baby. Snake, listen to what Lo Chi said. Oh. He who knows that enough is enough will always have enough. Just because you see an item doesn't mean that you always have to get it. If you don't really need it, think twice before you stick your neck out. It might not be worth it. I want the item. And I got the item. So leave me alone. tries to play tricks on you. We're too smart for that. Boss time. The Raven. He has reappeared in the form of another shaman. He is no longer a WWE superstar. Your boy about to collect some mo- Snake. Be careful. There are Claymore mines around there. Use a mine detector. Who are you? Just call me Deep Throat. Deep Throat? Deep Throat. The informant from the Watergate scandal? Never mind about that. You're not using burst transmission. Are you nearby? Listen, there's a tank in front of your position waiting to ambush you. Who are you anyway? One of your fans. You're one of my fans and you're talking about Deep Throating? Oh, no, 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 no. That's one mine. I want them all. Two. Three. Four. Your boy always stay ready. Always stay strapped. All the mines I can get. Gotta make sure I stay strapped. Oh! Almost got killed right there. I don't see no daggone tank. He lied to me. There it is. What's up, Raven? Is that so you? I know, you just told me. Snakes don't belong in Alaska. I will not let you pass. Send him a message. Missed! I'm too cool for school! Yeah! <laughs> That's right. You belong on the ground. You should crawl on the ground like the snake you are. Till that liquid. Come, let's fight. Let's fight then. You ready for your butt whooping? Get ready.
Here. Have a grenade. No! Get up! Oh, yeah! How you feel like that? Like that, Johnny? See how you like this. Get some. Brr! Get some. Oh! You think you can shoot me? I don't think so. I'm coming for you. What's up? Get some! Yeah... That'll teach you not to mess with Big Butt Snake. I want your keycard. It's mine. I hope you are happy. You got the card. We'll play with him a little longer. You would be wise not to underestimate him. What did you think of him? He is just as you said. In battle, he is as if possessed by a demon. Much like you, I would expect no less. You see? I told you so. But I will kill him. So, General Ivan. I hear he took your hand, as well as your dignity. Watch your tongue, shaman. In the language of the Sioux people, Sioux means snake. It is known as an animal to be feared. Well, snake is mine now. When I meet him next, I'll take special care of him. Not yet. Don't kill him yet. He and I will meet again in battle. Same prediction as always? Yes, the raven on my head. It thirsts for his blood. What about the red eyeballs you got there? What are those great for? Jeez. Ah. The power in me grows deeper and deeper. It's pretty in there. No weapons are allowed in here. Let's get down to business. absolutely must not use weapons in that area. I've already programmed the nanomachine so that he won't be able to, Colonel. Jeez. What? What are you talking about? Have you forgotten? That's where they keep the nuclear warheads. Can't you see them? Yeah, there's lots of boxes piled up here, but are they all warheads? Yes, they're all dismantled warheads. They just leave them here? It's like President Baker said, totally careless. They're working on a limited budget. They try to put on a pretty face for the media, but this is the grim reality of it. Nastasha knows lots more about it than I do. 
All of the warheads in those boxes have had their detonation mechanisms removed, so there's no fear of them exploding. But if the warheads are broken, they might leak plutonium, and that would be a serious problem. Snake, never use your weapon on that floor. The broad just said I couldn't use my weapon on this floor anyway, even if I wanted to. The only thing I could use is the chafe grenades. That doesn't stop them from shooting me, though. Made it. That's not the point. I want as many items as I can get. Go on, keep walking. Get your pixelated legs out of here. Everybody else gets to use weapons, but when I come around, oh, no weapons for him. Naomi really wants me to die now. I can feel it deep down on the inside. Oh! Right, run on over. Hmm. Don't come back over here. There we go. Now or never. Basement two. Here we go. The electric ride four. We're gonna need the Nikita missile. It's the only way we're gonna get through here. Stinky floor. Danger. Danger? What does that mean? We'll have to play Pac-Man with the missiles. Snake, watch out. That place is filled with gas. Also, the floor is electrified. First, destroy the high voltage switch. It's the switchboard on the northwest wall. But how? I can't reach it. Use a remote controlled missile. Well, show me where the remote controlled missiles are. It's my main man, Hal. Dr. Halliboy. We've got to get this stuff taken care of. Only way we'll get the objectives done. Let's go to basement one. Ah. So the 
truth has been revealed. This is the women's bath. We can't go in here. That's for girls. He's peeing. Make sure you wash your hands, buddy. Oh no. Wait a minute. Ring around the rose. Ah, you f Hey! See, now you messed up. Don't touch me. You didn't even wash your hands, pissy. my box. Just a box. That's right. Just a box. Keep moving. Jeez, that's some heavy piss. I can hear it from all the way over here. Meryl should be in here. I need my Nikita missiles. Perfect. Just a box. That's all they need to know. It's just a box. It's a box that gets around. Just a box. Exactly. Keep moving. Now he's got a pee. Downstairs. Thanks a lot. I'll see you around. Nikita time.
make it. And clear. These are the ones that can actually hurt you. Yes, they are. So, let's jam them before it's... Oh, uh-oh. Burr! Burr! Not good. That hurt. That hurt bad. Jam another one. Ow! Wait, trying to kill me? It won't let me shoot it. Maybe I can throw a grenade at it. Not far enough. How about now? Garbage! Promise land. Oh no. Let's go. We gotta go. We gotta go now. those damn enchiladas. Okay, I'm not sure if I want to go in there now. Oh boy. Be brave, Snake. Be brave. Oh boy. That's terrible. That's really, really bad. The horror! It Mur! Like they were cut by some type of blade. Oh god. <laughs> Dialogue is so clear. God. Oh my goodness. He hit you with that ababababaye. Jeez! And they want me to fight this guy? Wake up, my dude.
There's only one moving on the floor. Where is he? Oh, it's this guy. You want me to put you out of your misery? I surely should. He's not gonna listen to me. Hey! Who did this to you? I'm about to find out myself. Hal! Don't piss your pants! Don't do it! Show him you're a man! Oh god! Stealth camouflage? Who are you? Hal! Who is my friend? What? What are you talking about? Oh, what next? Don't be scared. Snake. You're that ninja. I've been waiting for you, Snake. Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. I am back from a world where such words are meaningless. Is that so? I've removed all obstacles. Now you and I will battle to the death. What do you want? I've waited a long time for this day. Have you now? Now I want to enjoy the moment. What's with these guys? It's like one of my Japanese animes. I've come from another world to do battle with you. What is it, revenge? It is nothing so trivial as revenge. A fight to the death with you. Only in that can my soul find respite. I will kill you, or you will kill me. It makes no difference. But it does. No! I have something to do. Oh god. How? <sighs> Fine. He can watch from inside there. I need that man. Keep your hands off him. Exactly. Keep your hands off of him. Now, make me feel it. Make me feel alive again. All right then. Let's dance. No! Oh! I wasn't ready. Oh. That's good, Snake. Oh! What are you doing? Stop hitting me! Right, do that flip, my boy. <laughs> Hit me with that. Ba ba brr. Good. Now we can fight as warriors. Hand to hand. It is the basis of all combat. Only a fool trusts his life to a weapon. Come at me, my boy. I see you coming. Oh! Burr, burr, burr. 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 Nope. Burr. Bar. I was just kidding. I'll let you bar. Can't you take a joke? Guess not. It's 
Stop hitting me! Oh god! There we go. I'm not trying to run from you. You're crazy. There we go. Brr. That's good, Snake. So hurry up and catch me. No problem. I'll find you, no problem. Told you. I'm here, Snake. Where's here? Move! I'm scared. No! Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Kill me! Shut up! Round two. I beat him this time. Now, make me feel it. Make me feel alive again. You wanna feel alive? Take the butt with Good. Now we can fight as warriors. Hand to hand. It is the basis of all combat. Only a fool trusts his life to a weapon. Challenge accepted. I held back on you the first time. Not this time. I'ma drift on you. Come on! Brr. Holla at your boy! Shalom! Did hold back. Shut up. Got him. Take a flip. Got him. That's good, Snake. Hurry up and catch me. I'm gonna get him. Burr. Got him. I'm here. 
Shut up! Just in case I don't find him first. Yeah! More, more, more! Hurry up and catch me! Don't need to! Get up! Like old times. Like old times. I've been waiting for this pain. I know you have. I'm gonna give it to you. That's gonna give it to you. Nope. Hurt me more. I will hurt you more. Come on. Drift on him. Drift on him! That's it! I remember that punch! No! Oh. Do you remember, Snake? The feel of battle? The clashing of bone and set you? Get up, my boy! Drifting is not cheating. Roll it off, player. I don't want to! Stay away from me! You're crazy! No! Crazy! Shut up! There you go, you crazy fanatic! Burr. Jesus! I felt that snake. I bet you did. Do you remember me now? Can't be. You were killed in Zanzibar. Medicine? What do you mean? What's happening? Oh god, he's banging his head on the ground. The force lost his mind. I'm losing myself. You already lost yourself, what do you mean? Brr! Is it over? Oh god. The Terminator! He's loose! Come back! My god, T-1000 is out. Gray Fox! Colonel, that ninja is Gray Fox. No doubt about it. Ridiculous. You of all people should know he died in Zanzibar. No. He should have died, but he didn't. What? Oh, here comes the plot it twist. It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. 
He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. Of course. So what about this soldier? Apparently, for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar. And that was Grey Fox. His but he was already dead. Frank Yeager. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Today's genome soldiers were born from those experiments. That's the sickest thing I ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? See? Naomi, now she what happened to Grey games. Fox after that? I don't trust her even more. The record says he died in the explosion. I see. But even if that ninja is Grey Fox, the question is, why? From what I could tell, he didn't know who he was. Are you saying that he's just a mindless robot? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Huh. I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants. Naomi, why don't you just tell the truth? You backstab him, woman. How mm. long are you gonna stay in there? Huh? Are you one of them? No, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? Are you an otaku too? Otaku? Come on, get out. I don't watch you anime. can't stay here forever. I'm a mercenary. I don't have time to watch anime. Your uniform is different than theirs. You're the Metal Gear chief engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Meryl. Oh, so you're here to rescue me. Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Oh, well, at least you're not one of them. Huh, are you hurt? Oh, I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little bit trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Fire! I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? What are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? They're gonna put a dismantled warhead into Metal Gear's TMD missile module? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. No, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know? No. All the armament was built by a separate department, and the President personally supervised the final assembly of the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I, I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a railgun. A railgun, you said? Yeah. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and, and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? Yeah, but that's not all I think. If Metal Gear fired only standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have all the practical data they need. No. Could it be? 
Metal Gear's co-developer, Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link these, you can test everything in a virtual environment. But it's all just theoretical. So this exercise was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? If the terrorists launched that thing... <sighs> Damn. Damn. I'm such a fool. It's all my fault. The truth is, my grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father, he was born on August 6th, 1945. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Three generations of Emmerich men. We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. But the one that wound up getting used was me. Using science to help mankind? It's just in the movies. <laughs> That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? Rex is in the underground maintenance base. Where's that? North of the communications tower, but it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there too? Yeah, in the maintenance base control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Merrill's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. I'll show you the way. On that leg of yours, you'll just slow me down. You'll need me if you're gonna destroy Rex. I don't need you. I just need your brain. I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. If you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by codec. How am I supposed to escape from an island? Uh, okay. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. the same stealth technology as the ninja. Foxhound was gonna use them, but with this I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good, but I want Merrill to watch after you too. Merrill, the engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. There she is, over there. <gasps> oh no, damn, they've spotted me. <laughs> Merrill. What happened? Something's wrong. Did you hear something? Wasn't that some kind of music? What did she look like? She... She was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. A disguise? She had such a cute way of walking. She kind of wiggles her behind. You were really looking. Well, she's got a very cute behind. Way of walking, huh? If she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. Where's that? Don't be so dense. Here, use this security card. It's security level four. You're not in pain, are you? Huh? 
You feel okay? Nothing bothering you? What's wrong? Getting all friendly all of a sudden. No, nothing. I'm glad you're okay. You're strange. I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. You're bad luck. Forget it, Doctor. Call me Otakon. Otakon? It stands for Otaku Convention. And Otaku's a guy like me who likes Japanimation. Japan was the first country to successfully make bipedal robots. They're still the best in the field of robotics. And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons, you know. That's what all scientists say. I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, it's true. It just sounds like a childish excuse to me. You're right. We have to take responsibility. Science has always thrived on war. Greatest weapons of mass destruction were created by scientists who wanted to be famous. But that's all over now. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. I'm on frequency 141.12. See you later. You guys just missed a lot of great content that I just said. <sighs> so stupid I realized that my daggone headset was back up. This whole time, Mother Hubbard. Well, let's see if we can find a, the Mario and Yoshi. Unless that's in the GameCube. Yeah, that's in the GameCube one. Not in this one. Oh boy. I was just rambling on and on for no reason. In any case, let's get out of here. Our work is done. Let's move on to the next location. We gotta go rescue Meryl. Thank you. I do my best. He finally died. He deserved to be dead. Now, let's get ready to put our mask on. Gas mask on. I got shot again. Level three, I've been there. Haven't been here yet. Give me the items. Brr. I've been here already too. I need air. Alright. We're going back in. Chaff grenades don't fail me now. Mar! Go! That's level six. Throw another one. We're doomed. Night vision goggles. We got him. We gotta go. We gotta go. Stop shooting me! 
We gotta go. We gotta go. Get me out of here. Ah, fresh air. Oh, my gosh. They truly want me dead. I've got no rations. I'm not doing so good. I've gotta re up on some health. Don't laugh. It's not funny. Pain is painful. Not funny at all. Not funny at all. It hurts. It hurts so bad. Oh. I've gotta find Meryl. That ain't Meryl. That's a man. That's Meryl over there. You can tell by her. Uh oh. Actually, wait. Oh, I hear it. We gotta sneak up on her and see her little fancy walk. There she is. Hey, wait! What are you doing? Cardboard box. Don't touch me. Just leave me alone. Huh? I'm just a box. Just a box. Get out of the way. No! no, no. Don't touch me! Oh no. Oh no! No! Don't kill me! Oh, that's her. I see you. Don't move. Oh, return to my position. That's the second time I've been able to sneak up on the legendary Solid Snake. She's got no pants on! You're Meryl? There's no way you could pass for a man for long. Oh god, look at her face! What's wrong with it? aren't allowed in here. I had no idea you were so feminine. This is no time to try and hit on me, Snake. Look at her eyeballs. Look at her biceps. Besides, it's a waste of time. When I joined up, they gave me psychotherapy to destroy my interest in men. Same smart mouth. You're Meryl, all right. Are you hurt? Not yet. After all, I was disguised as a genome soldier. I'm so hurt. Why'd you change? Look at her. I'd be a lot better Meryl. off dressed like one of them. I got tired of disguising myself. What's that one strand of hair hanging from the her truth neck? Is, the uniform smelled like blood. What's that mark? Huh? Oh, this? It's a paint tattoo. It's not real. I was a fan of Foxhound way back. 18 years old, like you and wearing uncle paint were tattoos, none of that gene and, and killed like three men. Today. You guys were real heroes. Lord have mercy. There are no heroes in war. It's coming to All the world with these girls. Are either dead or in prison. One or the other. But Snake, you're a hero, aren't you? I'm just a man who's good at what he does. Killing. There's no winning or losing for a mercenary. Exactly. The only winners in war are the people. That's right, and you fight for the people. No, I don't. I've never fought for anyone but myself. I've got no purpose in life. No, no ultimate, ultimate goal. goal. Come on. It's only when I'm cheating death on the battlefield. Do I truly the time feel, I feel alive? Truly alive. Ah. Seeing other people die makes you feel alive, huh? You love war and don't want it to stop? Is it the same with all great soldiers throughout history? Why didn't you contact me? My codec was broken. Is that all? Shouldn't you just be happy we met up like this? How did you recognize me in disguise? I never forget a lady. So there's something you like about me, huh? Yeah. You've got a great butt. Oh, God. Oh, I see. First it's my eyes, now it's my butt. What's next? On the battlefield, you never think about what's next. Go put the rest of your clothes on. The twerking is over. So, Snake, how are the negotiations going? No progress. 
So it's all up to you, huh? Somebody's got to stop them from launching a nuclear missile. There are two ways. Either we destroy Metal Gear or... We override the detonation code. You got the card keys from Baker? Card keys? You mean this? Where are the others? There should be three keys. This is all I've got. Where could the other two be? I have no idea, I but have they must right be somewhere. Hand. If we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. Metal Gear is in an underground maintenance base to the north. Take me too. I know this place better than you do. I don't just care. Just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. I won't slow you down. I promise. And what if you do? Then you can shoot me. I don't want to waste bullets. I don't like bullets. to waste bullets. That's cold-hearted. I'll be careful. Oh you God! Know, I don't her leg do, up the way her I leg just went through the wall. I hardly ever look at myself in the mirror. I've always despised that kind of woman. I always dreamed of becoming a soldier, but I was wrong. It wasn't really my dream. My father. He was killed in action when I was younger. Bull. You wanted to follow in your father's footsteps? Not really. I thought that if I became a soldier, I could understand him better. So are you a soldier yet? I thought I was until today, but now I understand. The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself, afraid of having to make my own decisions in life. But I'm not gonna lie to myself anymore. It's time I took a long, hard look at myself. I want to know who I am, what I'm capable of. I want to know why I've lived the way I've lived until now. I want to know. Take a good look. You won't get another chance for a while. You should wash your face, too, while you're at it. Yeah. This isn't a training exercise. Our lives are riding on this. There exactly. are no heroes or heroines. If you lose, you're worm food. And the maggots yeah. like their food. Is Warm. that famous functional? Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. Where'd you get that Desert Eagle? I found it in the armory. It's a 50 caliber Action Express. There was a SOCOM pistol too, but I chose this. Huh, so I got a leftover, huh? Isn't that gun a little big for a girl? Don't worry, I can handle it. Come on, use my 45. Listen, I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable with it than I am with a bra. Good lord, she was shooting people when she was eight years old? You crazy son of a If we're gonna go to the biscuit. north, we'll have to go through the commander's room on this floor. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. The door to the commander's room is security level 5. This card will open it. It was inside the pocket of the uniform I was wearing. Looks like he must have been guarding someplace important. Okay, let's go. I know this place better than you. I'll be point man. Follow me. You've told me that three times. I want rations. I need rations. Even though they're sitting inside a toilet. I'll still take them. That's strange. There's no guard. What happened to the music? I'll keep a lookout. Make sure you're ready, okay? I will make sure I'm ready. Thank you. Snake says I'll see you later. What? What is it? Oh god. Let me stop staring at her. I need more rations. I haven't even shot the Famas yet, but I will. I most certainly will. When we get to this room, I'm gonna unload on that boy. Rations. I need them. Nakita Miso. Now, I already know what to do. The secret when fighting Psycho Mantis. However, I'm going to allow the story to play out and call on the codec.
to find out what do I need to do. Your face. What are you staring at? I'm staring at you. I'm trying to figure out what the heck happened to your model. Come on, Snake. I'm not even doing anything. Relax. Now I'm not staring at you at all. How about that? Don't stare at me like that. Fine, I won't anymore. I'm done looking at you anyway. Snake, what are you doing? Let's go to the commander's room. I was trying to get some more rations. <sighs> Why are you doing that PlayStation thing with your foot? Stop it! <laughs> what are you doing? We've got to get a move on. Ah, I feel much better. Let's go. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. I'm not pervy. She's trying to figure out what she's doing. My head. Oh, it hurts. What's wrong? Don't come here, Snake. Are you okay? Possessed. Uh, uh, what happened? I'm fine. You sound like a robot. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. Are you gonna act weird now? Oh, God. Where is he? I know he's here. I can sense him. Don't do it. Oh, do you like me? What the? Do you like me? Hold me, snake. I don't want to anymore. What's wrong? Oh, oh, hurry, hurry. Make love to me. No. Oh, snake, I want you. You got problems. Who's that? You don't like girls. Oh, God. Snake. Meryl's not herself. Don't use your weapon. It's Psycho Mantis. He's controlling Meryl. That tune is his mind control music. Don't use your weapon. Try to knock her out. Try to knock her out? Gladly. <laughs> I don't condone doing that, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, Meryl. <laughs> Meryl! Stay down! There we go. Useless woman. No! Optic camouflage, huh? I hope that's not your only trick. You... You doubt my power? I will show you why I am the most powerful practitioner of psychokinesis and telepathy in the world. No, there's no need for words, Snake. I'm Psychomantis. That's right. This is no trick. It's true power. Huh. It's useless, I told you. I can read your every thought. Now, let me read your mind. No. No. Perhaps I should say, 
your past. Uh oh. You are a very methodical man. I don't think so. He always kicks his tires before he leaves. You are a highly skilled warrior. You think so? Well suited to this stealth mission. You are extremely careful of traps. Down the street. You are very cautious, but you are a coward. Still don't believe me. Now I'll read more deeply into your soul. Get out of there. You don't belong in there at all. Hmm. Your memory is completely clean. Hmm. You have not said it often. You are somewhat reckless. I can so. read you like an open book. Well then. Take the a sniper bullet to the body. It's over. Lag out! Lag out! Oh God, the good old 4.3 ratio TV. My time. Good times. That Psycho Mantis, former KGB psychic, he has powerful telepathic abilities. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, he came to America looking for a job. He worked with the FBI on several cases as a psychic profiler. Five years ago, he was working on the case of a multiple serial murderer. And he got too far into the killer's mind. As a result, he became just like the killer. Oh God. So he was sort of infected by this serial murderer's thoughts? In any case, after that, he became a sort of psychic spy. Just working don't answer his question, man. Traveled all around the world. That's when he was recruited by Foxhound. He can read people's minds. He knows every move that you're going to make. What should I do? I've got no chance of beating him. There must be some way. He's a master at controlling people, Snake. Don't let him manipulate you. Just tell me to use the second remote control. Not everything you see with your two eyes is real. Destroying his spirit is more important than destroying his body. Don't let him read you. Be a blank slate, okay? Clear your mind. Clear my mind. He read your mind with his psychic abilities. Somehow you've got to get around him. Just tell me to use a PlayStation 2 remote control. He's using his psychic ability to read your controller's moves. That's how he's evading your attack. You've got to do something so he can't read your controller's moves. Think. There must be some way. I already figured it out. Just tell me. I've got it. Use the controller port. Plug your controller into controller port 2. If you do that, he won't be able to read your mind. Lord have mercy. Challenge accepted. Can't even shoot him. Why? I'll tell you why. Good job, Colonel. Oh, God! Burr! I know you can't. That's the whole point. I already told you why. I 
Ow! Take these bullets. Why? Why couldn't I read your mind? Because it's not your time. Don't get it. Don't get Meryl involved. Don't do it! I won't do it. Ah! Meryl! Stop! Meryl! Right in front of me, Meryl! <laughs> Sit down! No! It cannot be! No! Now, back to you. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, stop him. Oh my gosh. Flapjack, you got wrecked. Got him. Colonel, your niece is going to be okay. Thanks, Snake. I owe you one. Now that Mantis is beaten, Meryl's brainwashing should wear off, right, Naomi? Yes. But why did you go so far out of your way to save her? For Campbell's sake, or maybe it's because you like her? I don't want to see any woman die right in front of me. Oh, really? Since when did anybody's death bother you so much? Naomi, it's true that Snake has killed a lot of people, but that doesn't mean he doesn't have a heart. It's okay, Colonel. She's right. She's right. And yet so, I saved her life. You used the other... I, I wasn't able to read the future. A strong man doesn't need to read the future. He makes his own. Perhaps so, but I'll read your future. <laughs> to get to Metal Gear's underground maintenance base, you have to go through that hidden door. There's a hidden door behind the bookcase. Yes. Go past the communication towers. And use the tower's walkway. Why are you telling me this? I can read people's minds. In my lifetime, I have read the past, presents, and futures of thousands upon thousands of men and women. Oh, gross. 
And Disrespectful. Mind, Shut up. I peered into was stuffed with the same single object of obsession. That selfish and atavistic desire to pass on one seed. It was enough to make me sick. I'm sorry Every to hear that. Every living thing on this planet exists to mindlessly pass on their DNA. Mm. We're designed that way. And that's why there is war. War. But you... You are different. You're the same as us. We have no past, no future. We live in the moment. That's our only purpose. Humans weren't designed to bring each other happiness. From the moment we're thrown into this world, we're fated to bring each other nothing but pain and misery. Now! The first person whose mind I dove into was my father's. Really? I saw nothing but disgust and hatred for me in his heart. My mother died in childbirth. And he despised me for it. I thought my father was going to kill me. Sounds like you had it rough. That's when my future disappeared. I lost my past as well. When I came to, the village was engulfed in flames. Are you saying that you burned your village down to bury your past? I see that you have suffered the same trauma. <laughs> we are truly the same, you and I. I don't know about all that now. The world is a more interesting place with people like you in it. I never agreed with the boss's revolution. His dreams of world conquest do not interest me. I just wanted an excuse to kill as many people as I could. You monster. Let him talk. He doesn't have much time left. That's right. Let him see what he has to say, Mira. Shut up. You, Snake. You're just like the boss. You calling me Are old and missing an eyeball? Compared to you, I'm not so bad. <laughs> I read her mind as well. Meryl's? Meryl? I saw you there. Liar. You have a large place in your heart. A large place? A large place, huh? Yes. A large place. Even though she's short. But I do not know if your futures lie together. I have a last request. What is it? My mask. You want me to put it back on? Put it back on. Eel. Okay. Like this. Let me Other leave it off so you can see yourself. Force their way into my mind before I die. I want to be by myself. Fine. I want to be left alone in my own world. <laughs> You'll be by yourself. You'll be left in your own world. I'll open the door for you. If you want to find your future, go through that door. This is the first time I've ever used my power to help someone. It's strange. It feels... kind of... So he finally shut down. Good for him. Gas mask and all. Let's go, Meryl. Yeah, let's go. I'm sorry. Meryl? How could I let Mantis control my mind like that? If you're gonna doubt yourself, I'll leave you here. Exactly, I'm gonna leave you here. You're right. Never doubt yourself. Just let it make you stronger. Learn something from it. Learn. You're right. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Snake, can I ask you something? What? About what Mantis said. 
I was just wondering. What? What's the problem now? Oh, no, nothing. Exactly. Stop trying so, to hit tell on me. tell me, Snake. What's your name? Name means your real nothing name. on the battlefield. Your name means nothing on the battlefield. Exactly. How old are you? Old enough to know what death looks like. Any family? No, but I was raised by many people. Is there anyone you like? I've never been interested in anyone else's life. So you are all alone. Just the way just I like, like it. Said. Aside from my doggies. I don't want to involve other, other people's people lives. Other people just complicate my life. I don't like to get involved. Exactly. You're a sad, lonely man. Screw Come you. On. Let's go. Let's go. The power has been given to me once again. More items. Now we're talking. Oh boy. Now I gotta deal with these wolf dogs. Could there be wolves in there? Wolf dogs. Half wolf, half husky. How do you know so much? I ride dog sleds. I'm a musher. I'll take point. Snake, you follow me. Sure. Well, let's see if I can get the get the boys to behave. Better just put my box on. All they'll do is pee on it. That's good. Better than them hitting me. More rations. I'll need them where I'm going. They're not stupid, but hopefully they'll see it and leave me alone. Nope, definitely not now since I just changed characters. All they see is a box and they know they can beat me up. I'm not gonna kill him. Just leave me alone. Guys! Come on, stop it! Stop it! Mom! Guys, I just got healed. Don't do me like this. Guys! Don't make me shoot you, because I'll do it. I really don't want to shoot you. But you're leaving me no choice. You 
know what? I'm doing it. Leave me alone! Unbelievable. Unbelievable! I can't believe they would sit up there and betray me like that. Snake, what's wrong? I thought you were good with dogs. Bunch of bullshit. Bastards. You didn't do anything, so I'm not gonna hit you. Makes no sense. I had to bust caps inside dogs just to get free. And lost two rations in the process. Okay, calm down. It's okay, Snake. This place is mine. I'll take point again. Stay back, okay? But the radar is working. And since we can't use the mine detector either... Leave it to me! Good for you. I'm glad you can show the path. So, what do you think? Pretty good, huh? How did you know where the mines were? It sounds weird, but when Mantis dove into my mind, I was able to see where the mines were placed. Are you impressed? Well, a little bit. Only a little? Just be glad. Oh, no you don't. And that's how you do that. Meryl! You're gonna get shot! Meryl. What is it? Meryl! Meryl! Meryl, get down! Your China! Oh! Meryl! Don't touch him, man! Ma! I told you not to do it. Ma! See? Ma! Snake, leave me and run. Meryl. Ma! I guess I am a rookie after all. Oh God! Don't worry, Meryl. It's me they want. Meryl, stop Even monologuing. It's the oldest trick in the book. The sniper's using me for bait to lure you out. Damn. Shoot me, Snake. Bear. No. My gun. Bear. I can't reach it Bear. myself. Don't move. No, move. I promised. I wouldn't slow you down. You supposed to be twerking. I, I, I can still help. How? I want to help you. You can't. Quiet down. Save your strength. Can't even move. Shut up. I was a fool. Oh God, monologues. The war is ugly. Mara, hush. There's nothing glamorous about it. Snake, please save yourself. Go on living and don't give up on people. Don't forget me. I already forgot you. Who are you? Now get out of here. I got a call here. Hold on a second. Meryl! Damn. Snake, it's a trap. The sniper's trick to lure you out. The sniper's waiting for you to go and help Meryl, so he can pick you off. Don't do it. Must be Sniper Wolf, Foxhound's best shooter. Snipers usually work in pairs, but this one's alone, huh? 
I know her. She can wait for hours, days, or weeks. It doesn't matter to her. She's just watching and waiting for you to expose yourself. Maybe so, but Meryl can't hold out that long. Snake, can you see Wolf from where you are? There's nowhere to hide between here and the tower. She must be on the second floor of the tower. She's gotta be. If Wolf is in the communications tower, she can see you perfectly. It's the classic sniper's position. At that distance, you won't be able to hit her with a standard weapon either. You'll need a sniper rifle. Colonel, take it Colonel, easy. Colonel, take a breather. Relax. I'm gonna save Meryl, no matter what I already what it took takes. care of Meryl once before. I'll do okay. it again. Thanks. What's wrong, Naomi? Nothing. I'm just surprised you're willing to sacrifice yourself. You got the genes of a soldier, not a savior. You trying to say that I'm only interested in saving my own skin? I wouldn't go that far, but... I don't know what the hell my genes look like, and I don't care. I operate on instinct. Like an animal? I'm going to save Meryl. I don't need an excuse. Okay. Yes, yeah, stop. And I'm not doing it for someone else, either. I'm gonna save Meryl for myself. Colonel, don't worry. Snake, thanks. I understand. I'm I don't sorry. think you do. I truly don't think you understand. Because you're talking a lot of smack. A lot of smack. Snake! Leave me! Oh god. Now they're shooting Meryl. I gotta hurry up. Meryl's gonna be in a lot of trouble. Gotta go. I don't have time to fool with you. Trying to save your buddy, and you're up here trying to bite me. They don't care about those boxes. They don't hurt me either way. We gotta save Meryl. We gotta save Meryl. We gotta save Meryl. Oh god, this ain't it. Where's the exit? Where's the exit? Oh, this way. Thank God. Okay. So, we've calmed down a little bit. Just need to relax. We gotta get some more health, some items. We're just gonna save Meryl, but I think we'll be fine. Our friends are back. Let's just go get on the elevator. Gotta watch out for the mines. There's a lot of things that have been put back into place. Thanks to our backtracking. bullets they never have anything for me right, we gotta go we gotta go we gotta go 
We gotta save Meryl, she's bleeding out. Please let there be another ration up here. I need one. I need one now. Thank God. Let me up! Let's see. Oh great. I'm out of chaff grenades. Great. Don't shoot me. Jeez, that thing covers a lot of ground. Covers a lot of ground. I gotta get my rations. I need them. Chaff grenades. Good. That's what I needed. Deceive me, or is that an entrance? I gotta know. Ah. Oh. More grenades. Just what I always needed. Now perhaps I can make a run for it. Problem is, I won't be able to see it. Ah! Relax. Go back to normal. Calm down. There you go. Minds are ridiculous. They're everywhere. Somebody truly doesn't want me to get back here alive. I can feel it deep down in my soul. Just double checking to make sure there's no items over there. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta save Meryl. We gotta go. back it's not we're good all right we're clear all right what are you doing in there You're getting shot. I don't have time for this.
I'm not about to go in there. Let's turn around. Okay. Oh. Shortcut. Oh, now I can get that ration from earlier. This is good news. Should be another ration here as well. Hopefully. Good. We're remembering things. Give me the ration up here. I need them all. I just want to be healthy again. These dogs are so disrespectful. There we go. We're, we're good to go. Holla at your boy. Now, gotta get the sniper rifle. Oh. What's that? Don't do it. That's right, return to your positions. Now, let's go get this. Let me on the elevator, hurry up. I think we need to go down one more floor. But first, let's go get this ration. Can never go without rations. Bullets, bullets, rations and bullets. They're all good for you. There we go. I 
back on the elevator. Go get the PSG-1. We'll have to stop by the uh, office and get some more pills. As soon as I come out. Just, just right out the gate, huh? Traction food. that against Sniper Wolf. Hurry up and save Merrill. Shut up, Colonel. I know what I'm doing. Here's something. I heard it beeping, I just don't know what it was. Let's just get out of here. Yep, time to go. We don't belong here.
Yeah, let's go. Back into the darkness. Alright. Let's make sure these mines are out of the way. That's one. That's two. Three. Let's see if we can grab any more. We're all fresh out. Somebody put these things back. No worries. We're not gonna get blown up. We're out of here. Open sesame. Hang on, Meryl. We're coming. And hopefully we won't get bit either. Back to the basement. Wrong floor. Let's go pick up a couple more pills. Good. No. Now feels are good. Don't come in here. I told you not to come in here. All right, Sniper Wolf, we're coming for you.
Thought that was the entrance. Guess I was lied to. Yeah, it's not an entrance. I'm trying to avoid the dogs. I don't think that's gonna work though. Gosh, you stupid dogs! Leave me alone! Well, at least they gave me that one. Time to go to work. Sniper Wolf, you're going down. And you already moved Meryl. You're going down. He's got to find you. Oh, there you are. Stop shooting me! This fight is real! You're going down. You're going down, Wolf. Take that, wolf. Now. Gotta get moving. Snake, wouldn't now be a good time to save your mission? You haven't saved your mission in a long time anyway, right? What's going on? I'm not sure. I'm getting a bad feeling. Bad feeling? Something you ate? No, I'm serious. Like a premonition or something. Fine, I'll save. Snake, it's all up to you.
something bad is about to happen. And I know exactly what it is. It's getting ready to happen in just a second. Don't move! And that, ladies and gentlemen,